All right, welcome to this awesome tutorial on how to make linked GTK buttons. If you're like me, you have a bunch of widgets that you sometimes want to convert or try to convert to see what they look like in a, G a linked GTK button style. However, um, you don't necessarily always want to mess around with the code of your application. So this is going to be a very quick guide on how to convert, let's say, radio buttons to linked style. So for this to work, it needs to be pretty much a radio button widget and it needs to be uh, inside a GTK box widget. And now I'm also going to assume that you have the GTK inspector enabled. Uh, you need to turn on the G uh, deconf setting for this. So look it up. The GTK inspector is your friend and as you can see, it's very powerful. Uh, we, at least that's what you're gonna see in this tutorial. So to bring up the GTK inspector, since it's already enabled on my system, I press Control shift d or it could be Control shift i depending on your application, if you have a keyboard shortcut interfering or not. So Control shift d and now I have this window showing up, the GTK inspector, which lets me do a bunch of things live with my application. So, I'm going to just size it up a little bit so that we can actually have a more working space. So I hit this target button here, which lets me select any widget in my GTK application. In this case, I'm picking the uh, this radio button. So if I click this button, I get into the tree view, which lets me see the whole hierarchy of all the widgets. And here I can switch between widgets. I could pick any of the two radio buttons, but I'm going to pick the second one here. And the key to, well, one of the keys to make this work is for the radio button to have a draw indicated disabled. So if you do that, you're gonna see it's gonna turn into what seems to be a regular button, but it's still a radio button. And now you have to do that for all of your radio buttons, of course. So do that for the second one. So as you can see, it's still a set of radio buttons and still behaves like radio buttons, but doesn't look like them, but yet it doesn't look like a linked uh, set of buttons. For that to happen, you have to go back into the hierarchy and select the box that contains them. So GTK box, GTK H box, GTK V box, whatever. And then you go back into the properties, but instead of going to the properties, you go into the CSS nodes for that box. And now here's a trick. There's a bunch of hidden columns here, but you won't see them until you do this. Right? So, for that box, there is the style class column. And you actually have to double click this thing and add a new style class. In this case, it's going to be linked. And now, as you can see, those two buttons have lost their edge. But they still don't look right. And that is because there is spacing in between them. That is because the box was using spacing. So I need to go back into the properties for the box widget. And then I'm going to look for spacing. Sometimes it could be, it could be padding, could be border, but in this case it's spacing. So I'm just going to set that to zero. And boom! You now have some standard looking linked buttons.